Hey guys, welcome to the next video. Uh, I might sound a little bit different. I purchased a new microphone for editing videos and you know, I might just use it for these type of videos too, just like all of my videos in the future rather than using my headset. So let me know how you think the, the quality is. Um, of course, I think you're gonna hear mouse and keyboard still. It, it's just a, a Blue Yeti microphone and it's on the side. I don't, I'm not using the stand or anything. But basically, if anyone watched Shifter, uh, I have it set up on the side of my monitor because I don't want it in front of my face. Some people have it like right in front of their face and maybe it would make it so my um, mouse clicking and my keyboard clicking is a little bit less, but I, I just like it being on the side. Even though it's not right in front of my face, maybe the quality is just like barely a little bit less because of that. It's still not in my vision, so I got to play the game a little bit easier. Like, also when it was in front of my face, I couldn't see my hand. It was kind of weird. <clears throat> but I'm against Yasuo this game. Uh, they have a lot of CC. This is a really hard Rise game, just to let you know. Um, Rise's team fighting is kind of hard to play, especially against a lot of crowd control. Um, Yeah, maybe I should have lane swapped to give him the Yasuo lane. Oh well though, it's too late. Early on, why is the guy just stopped? I don't want to use my W on him when he has his shield up, it would be a waste. So as soon as his shield goes down, then I can actually look for a little bit of trading. I like W start on Ryze, it deals pretty good damage, it's very easy to land. Um, it also, I think, costs less mana. Yeah, it costs 10 less mana. He's gonna reach level 2 before me when he kills this minion, so I have to be a little bit careful here. He's gonna reach level 2 right here. Oh, he didn't kill the minion. Never mind. The wave is in a pretty decent spot on my side. Just make sure you don't get hit by Yasuo. Um... Qs when he throws the NATO as Rise. Oh, I also went um Sapphire Crystal. It's a pretty good buy. I like it. Wow, I just fucking fat fingered that cannon by like clicking it. This guy's dead. She didn't even need a flash. I don't know why she did. I thought I was gonna kill that minion for a second. You gotta make sure I always get these cannon minions. Uh, but since the wave was on my side, he really disrespected just like getting ganked, especially by Camille. I think he messed up uh, there by walking away and letting me to freeze. I think he had to hard shove. Like, he messed up the wave really hard. I can't even say exactly how he messed it up, because I would have to actually go into VOD review, but definitely don't, like, let me freeze on you. That's not how you're supposed to play the lane at all. So I get tier buy off this. It's going to be absolutely huge for me, and I'll be able to buy pink ward too. Boots buy would be pretty good, but I just don't have enough gold for it. I'm gonna buy two pinks. I always like just buying extra pinks nowadays. Just vision control is so important. As players get stronger, the game has been out for so long that it, people within like, I would say master tier have mechanics to play inside challenger, but they're just not smart enough, basically. That's like the biggest thing. Wave is pushing towards me. I didn't TP back because I knew I wouldn't really miss much here. I'm gonna miss like a little bit of creeps, but that's not really a big deal for me. Overall, I'm still gonna not really use my mana except for, for uh, harassing. I don't want to... Ryze still has like a little bit of mana problems early on if you keep on using his mana. So until like blue buff is coming back up, I'm not gonna use a lot unless I actually need to. I also have to... Oh, I missed that. I trolled. I need to be a little bit wary of Zack inking me too, because that actually is a little bit dangerous. I'm gonna put my pink topside. Why? I don't really have a reason, actually. I could put it top or bot side, Camille's top side, might as well put it on the side that she's on. That's the best example that I have right now. If Camille was playing bot side, I probably would have placed my... Oh, we see Zack bot here. Whoa, they don't see him, but dude, he's right behind you. They don't see him. I pinged for them. I don't think it was uh fast enough though. I think they're they're boned. This guy never pokes. <clears throat> A 
Wow, that minion blocked my key. Uh, oh. I win here, so yeah, he's gonna have to back off. Oh, I didn't use my health potion somehow. That was weird. I knew that him coming into that giant ass wave, it doesn't really matter. If I, uh. Oh. I need to stop using my Q. I'm trolling. Whoa, Camille, calm down. So I want to TP back here. It's going to be super good if I'm able to shove this out and recall. The thing is that I'm really oom. Um. It would have been really good if she stayed. Because I can get ganked by Zack here pretty easily. I'm just going to CS that. I'm going to give up a little bit of CS for Pryo. Right here I'm going to try to recall, and I want to get back into this wave before he pushes out. Hopefully. I don't know if I can. If he ults me, I'll be fine. I'm pretty sure. What? Uh, there's no way we can kill him. Oh wow, you actually got him. I can't help her here. Like, even if I snared, he was still going to die to ignite there. Okay, I'm going to freeze this lane here, so <clears throat> because I have, uh, he has a bigger wave than me, it's going to slow push towards me, and because it was only three creeps, it should not push in hard enough that it will crash. Make sure that the wave that you're trying to freeze isn't super big. If it's too big, it will push under tower. So now I'll TP because he's using, he called his jungler to push. This is really important for like gold and silver players to understand when to do this. I guarantee if I was playing in gold or silver right now, I'm in diamond. This is like diamond elo. Gold and silver players would not help their mid laner and that would have made him get even more far behind because I could have saved my TP. So that Zac basically just helped his mid laner immensely by pushing that out. So I think that within gold and silver, I bet people don't do that. The Zac wouldn't. I'm, I'm just assuming here, but... I'm keeping the wave on my side. I'll step up a little bit. We see Zack is bought. I do want to uh, take my win and move it into other lanes because I noticed that they keep on getting ganked bot, but they're surviving, so that's pretty good. Oh no. I want the blue buff and she's taking it. Please give me this, Camille. Please give me this. Rise is really important, or I mean blue is really important on- Oh my god, you moved it away? What the fuck? I should've used W, I guess. That was my bad. I won't t I won't blame her. I was about to blame her. It says zero for zero, but my pink is topside, so troll. If I actually get hit by Zaki, I might just get one shot, by the way. Just letting you know. Uh. <sighs> I snared a mid, uh, mid dub or mid E there, so he couldn't get on me. Maybe if it landed, he would have done some pretty good damage, though. I have no idea where this sack is. Because I have blue, I'm just gonna spam my spells really hard. Oh. Oh wait, I'm probably gone. Oh, I tried to poke. We can win this, actually. We win hard, hard here, I think. No. Never mind. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but Pike was level 5 when I went in, and he leveled up off of something. Maybe it was Camille's death, or maybe it was from the wave, but it looks like this uh, Darius is popping off. Oh, not popping off hard enough. I think we're okay here, though. I need to transition my lead elsewhere. Uh, like, playing versus Zack and Yasuo and even Pike was mid too, but they they all have so many knockups, it makes Yasuo really easy to follow it up. But I think I also misplayed there, for sure, too. Wow, Camille's just coming straight back for him? Oh my gosh. Yeah, this guy's dead, 100%. Oh, all, all she had to do is uh, Q. If she Q'd him, the red buff would've killed him. Oh well. I'll just shove out here. I'm not going to freeze because I know that he's resetting and I don't want to- I'm not looking for individual advantage anymore. I'm looking to help others.
I know that mid has no flash. Bot's shoved up. We see Camille, like, on top side for us. Maybe I'll be able to kill Cassio if she didn't ward yet. Oh, wait. Zach's here. Hmm. Does he know that I'm here? I'm just going to go back. Yeah, so it was too far away that I think that I'll be safe even if he saw me there and he jumped on me. Yeah, so it's getting pretty slippery now, but I can't contest that because Camille's off the map and uh, warded here. I can't clear it without my Camille. If I step up and Zack is here, I'll die. It's not worth it. I might be able to like outplay or something, but you never want to go for an outplay where it's like... He thought that he was going to land that Q on me. Oh. You're going to die. Sorry. Huh? I should live here. Pike didn't have threshold there, so unfortunate for him. I don't think there was a way for me to sidestep it too. I didn't want to side or go back. Oh, that scared me. But I'm pretty healthy now because I got healed. I'll let them push. Uh, I got a pretty good buy now, I think. Oh, super close. Maybe I should have stayed for this. I actually should have for sure. I'm gonna go for Sonya's. It's gonna really help out. Actually, no, I'm gonna go for this. Magic Felix goes this build, and I I kind of like it. So right there, as soon as I saw that Zack, as soon as someone lands or uses an ability, this is very common. Like if I snare someone, the, immediately I'm going to channel my, um, my next ability and on top of them. So that's what Zack did. As soon as he landed, I knew that he was going to throw out his Q at me, and I was able to sidestep it because of that, just because I knew that... That's where he would throw it. That guy got hella chunked from that. I should be able to just... I knew that the range, if I kept running forward, I wouldn't get hit because I'm really fast. Always think about if, like, you need a juke or if you need to run in a straight line. If you need a juke because they're too close, then it's an important thing that a lot of people don't know how to do. I don't know if I'm going to get ganked again or what, but it, I have no vision around mid, and it's super easy to kill me with uh, Zac. I'm going to try to solo my blue here because Camille's not handing it off. I have uh, some time. Oh, it's gone. Darn. That sucks. I've been using a lot of my mana because I thought this blue was up, for some reason. Maybe it was taken much earlier in the game and I just wasn't paying attention during that time. He used wind wall there, so now he has no wind wall. Still don't see Zack. I have TP available, but I really want to get my uh, Archangels by, which is another 300 gold. We see him here. Just walked over my ward. Because he went bot side, I have the assumption that that means Zack is bot side because he wants to play probably around the same side that Zack is playing on. So I'm just going to guess that Zack is bot side because he walked that way. Normally when you see someone roaming, they're normally roaming on the same side as their jungler. So... Uh... Damn, he had 50 HP there. The reason why I didn't commit for it is because he has a passive. If I pop this passive, it's not like I can kill him. Uh, we see them, uh, the guy going bot lane, but it doesn't really matter here. <sighs> I juke because I figured that he's going to throw it a certain way. I'm too oom to fight here, so all I want to do is farm the wave and uh, get my buy. Oh no. Well, I just got enough mana to kill it there, but I I didn't know that I was regening that much. Uh, I have Archangels now. We see Zack is bot side. He has no ulti though, so I should live. 
Oh shit, this is really fucking bad. I knew that he would throw it that way. Okay, I'm actually dead here. I trolled. I should have not went back in. As soon as I put myself in this position right here where Yasuo has uh, his tornado up, I just trolled. I don't know why I pinged that. Uh, she sh can't defend either. There's no way. I lose my tower for that misplay. I outplayed by knowing that Pike was going to throw his Q because I'm running in a straight line and I have to juke because I can't outrun it, as I explained. Knowing when you can outrun something and when you have to juke something is a very important aspect in League. So knowing the ranges of things, basically. There's no way that this person can beat him. I don't know why she's trying to kill him. He definitely has passive. Oh, he didn't even use E forward. Good thing. Maybe he could have went. Wow, our Darius is really fed. I'm actually really farmed too, but I just lost a lot of CS there. I should be at around 150 right now, CS, but I only have 135. So, I've been doing a pretty good job at CSing this game previously before that death. Death made me lose a lot. We see them all topside. Because they're going topside, maybe I'll go. Okay, as soon as I see that the wave is coming in and they're backing off, I don't want to hard commit. Normally people won't go if... Uh, they're smart, but like the enemy team, but it looks like they still got caught, so my team just wins on their own. But I get a wave. Waves are really important in League. Don't just ignore waves and go try to roam. It's, it would be really bad. Are you going to ulti him? Uh, we should just kill his passive here. Okay, we can't. Uh, I'm gonna get the tower. I can outplay here, maybe. Never mind, he's not even gonna come. Wow, she threw his her Q really well. <clears throat> we should finish Zach. Yeah, because they all didn't finish the Zac, then what's the point? We got his passive and we're fighting under tower and his Zac's gonna come back up. So... Oh, this guy went Trinity Force. That's so weird. I've never seen that before. Well, I'm 035, so it looks like I'm not gonna be able to... It looks like I can't carry this game, but I completely can. It looks like I'm trolling. It looks like my entire team's carrying me. I'm the... I'm the... <laughs> person that's making us lose. Feels bad. Uh, my TP's not up. I do want to go into a one 3 one scenario, but because it's not up, I don't want to lose Rift Herald for it, but because no one's going bot, we'll just see what they do on the enemy team. They should do Rift Herald because I'm bot, depending on who they send against me. I don't know if they're going to send Cassio. If Cassio is just sitting in his bush here, She could be sitting anywhere. I our, look at our vision control right now. We have none. There's no way that someone's just sitting in this bush, right? Hmm. Fighting in yes, fighting Yeso when he's in a wave is pretty bad. The reason being is because he can dash around so much. I got the shield. I think I live here. Yeah. I'm fighting Yasuo in a wave is a bad idea. I'm just not going to fight him anymore. Inside of a wave at least. I need to wait for the wave to be gone first. You can see that he only landed his ulti on me. And I just don't deal enough damage to really win. Oh. Okay, I thought he was coming towards me for a second. I'll just give the tower here. You have to. Oh damn, they got Rift Herald too. Oof, they are not having a good time over there. Wow, the FF though too. I scale really hard. Why it, Why are they trying to FF? Look at we have three towers to two towers. Feels bad. Oh, 
I thought that was gonna land. But I'm not sure if he even would have. He's dead. <clears throat> Use both sums. They're gonna do Baron now. There's no way for me to get there. Not looking very good. Our Triss is really strong. I'm strong. Darius is able to. Good champ, Lamau. I don't know. People say Yasuo is hard, but against Rise, it actually doesn't even seem that bad. He just immediately dashes and ults on me, and uh, I think that I lose every single skirmish then. So I think Yasuo is not a very hard champ to play once you at least get a little bit of items. I have no idea how much Trinity Force damage is too, so it's hard for me to respect his item path. I thought he would deal less, but he deals way more than I thought. The shoved out bot. I'm gonna just do this. I have nothing to do right now. I saw that they warded here. They wanted to see where I was at. They might just put... We win this. Yasuo's not here. Really, bro. Oh. Ah, oh, going into no vision. I shouldn't have done that. I thought we won harder. I don't know how Triss died. Then plays like this. Feels bad. I'm getting flamed by Diamond 3 players. I mean, definitely not having a very good game myself, but everybody has bad games. I'm not going to give up, though. I want, I'm still going to try to win this game. Answering back with someone flaming you just makes it even worse. There's no reason to. I can have one team fight where I actually pop off. She has a good point, though. Not having a very good game. <laughs> And then, I I haven't played Rise in a decently long time, I would say. Like, I've been playing a lot of Galio, some Cassiopeia. What else have I been playing mid? I've just been playing so much Galio, especially to get content for my guide, but... Dragon's coming up, so they're going to be bot side here. Oh. The Yasuo is topside, but we can fight with numbers advantage. Oh my. Oh my. What are they even trying to do here? That's not good. So, there's nothing that I could really do there to help them. I don't know why they were even there. Oh, I missed that. Oh my gosh, look how much damage that just did. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Unfortunately, it wasn't that good of a game, but... This this guy was a... Uh... My team just didn't really want to cooperate. It seems that they kind of gave up. When you have a losing attitude, you lose more games, but... I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. I definitely try to make it so I have a better Rise game than this one. To show you its actual true potential with split pushing and such. Actually, wait. <laughs> I'm not giving up if we're not losing here. <laughs> I'm going to still try to win this game if we actually didn't lose. I thought we lost for sure. Thought we lost for sure. Let's go. No, I mean, they're all just sitting in base typing. No, they actually did give up. I guess then it's over.
I mean, it's uh, we can't win a 4v5. It's not possible. Maybe together we could. Uh, so I'm gonna get my Oblivion Orb. That's gonna give me way more damage. Wow, look how tilted this guy is. He just used Flash. Feels bad. Whatever. I'm just gonna fight then. Fuck it. <laughs> Might as well practice team fighting. You can always do something in a game to get better. I got all of them down to half HP. I guess they were all getting zoned by Cassiopeia or something. Meals back. Anyways, if you want to actually climb, uh, for anybody who cares about like improving, definitely don't act like any of these Nami player who like is tilt, and then the Camille player who just gave up. But. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.